Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm up in Rope Park again today with the Wakira T210 Mini. And we have another new update which came out the day after I realized that the last one was out. I believe this one is version 1.20 and it includes the scroll wheel now working here for the exposure value. We now have the 100 megabyte per second bit rate, so we can switch that on. Uh, supposedly fixes the 48 megapixel pictures and fixes some other known bugs. So uh, we also have an enhancement on the camera image quality, so we'll check that out too. So right off the bat guys, I'm going to start a screen recording. And enter the Wakira app. Okay. Hit go fly. So let us first. We're on video. We are going to check the settings here. Uh, okay. We have the image size set to 4K. And transfer rate is HD. Record rate, we're going to turn that on the 100 megabyte per second. Resolution is 4K30. So we, we can only switch that between 4K30 and 1080 60. So we're going to leave it on the 4K. And then we have video show mode. We have a two fit screen. And we will start recording. Start recording. And let's stick in and down and take off. So there we go guys, the picture does look pretty decent here, but I'm not going to know for sure what it's like until I get this home in the editor. So let's do a little droney here. I forgot to mention we have 21 kilometer an hour winds, but this little thing can handle, I believe it's 30 to 35. So let's do a little droney reversing up. And besides I have this... Uh, Turned all the way up to uh, 20 meters per second. That's how fast this little thing goes, guys. 20 meters per second. We're going to click it into sport mode. Sport there we go. Let's back up. You can hear that drone scream. It sounds like an FPV drone. So the wind is blowing this direction. I'm going to get it out over the water here a little and climb a little bit in altitude. So let's try that scroll wheel, see if we can change the exposure value. Now I done this the other day, but it didn't seem like it was making any type of difference on my FPV feed anyway, and I didn't uh, stick the video in the editor to check it out. So there's minus 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Let's just pan the camera up and down while we do this. Let's go another one, 0 0.6. This is negative 0 0.6. Let's bring it all the way up here, 0 0.8. That's minus 1.2. It is changing. I can sort of notice it here on the FPV feed. It is changing. So that's a good sign, guys. Let's bring it back here. Bring it back to as close to zero. There, we are now on zero. We'll pan the camera up down and up and yeah it is working so that's good bring that drone in it's full stick forward I can tell you guys this little drone has quite an attack angle when you're in sport mode and full stick forward that drone is angled like that like a real FPV race drone and it will dive towards the ground on you so keep your eyes on that It will come down, guys. It'll lose a bit of altitude. There, it's fighting that wind right now. But it's still pushing forward. It's still, still moving forward. So not bad, not bad at all. 
So this is the best little mini drone I have so far for flying in higher winds, guys. So let us stop recording for a second here and we will put the camera on and we're going to take a couple of pictures. So I can't really get the sun in view either. It's pretty much directly above me now because it is dinner time here. Okay, so let's uh, actually face us. Put the camera down just slightly and we will snap a photo. And then we're going to go in and we're going to change that on the camera. We're going to put it on the 48 megapixel. Let's go to the video. Okay, camera. We're on the 48 megapixel and we will snap a picture again. Well, like I said, last time I tried this, I couldn't really tell any difference between the 48 and the 4K. Okay, so let's go back in those options. We'll put the image size back on the 4K. Actually, we're gonna leave it on the 48 megapixel. And we're gonna go back in the video. Let's try the 1080 60. Oh, well, it uh, brightened it up more. Let's go to video and start recording. Start record video. Let's bring that drone in. So one thing guys I can tell you is I haven't experienced any lag anymore since this latest uh, last two updates. Another thing I wanted to try was the follow me mode in this. Which I haven't a clue so far how to do so. And I haven't bothered with it yet. So the 108060 looks pretty good, but let's stop recording. And we're gonna go back in and change that. Uh, back to 4K30. Okay, and let's click on MOD. Now you guys can see all I have here is lock assist and time lapse. So we're gonna click the lock assist and yeah it's I, I don't get any follow me feature here for some reason now i did get it there one day playing around with this app it did show up for a second but then uh, next time i clicked on it it was gone out of that mod okay so let's lock let's lock on me let's walk away and see if that's it no. Okay, hang on, guys. So I really want to figure out how the uh, follow me works on this drone because it is meant for to be a follow me drone. Now I'm moving the, the stick here and... Oh, it is turning the drone, okay. But the camera is staying locked. Okay, let's click that off. So we have a cruise control, which works. I've tried that before. The circle me works. Then we have rise, far away, and drift, which are just your little dronies. So let's actually stop this. There we go. Now, like I said, guys, I'm not sure how you get this drone to follow me. You can't click on the screen. Click MOD again. See, that's all we have is lock assist and time lapse. And I'm not sure why I don't have the follow me in here. Not sure at all. The VR is just for goggles. We can click on the map. And we can't even tap. Uh, yes, we can do waypoints, I believe. No, we can't even do waypoints there. Hmm, not sure, guys. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on this. It could be because it's in 
4K, I'm not sure. So let's actually take it off, put it on 1080 60, and then we'll go back into the MOD. No. We only have time lapse and lock assist. But this drone is meant to be a follow me drone. So let's start. Actually, let's go back in. Let's get it back on 4K 30 and start recording. Start record video. See, I'm really not sure what is going on. Maybe it's because I'm in sport mode. Let's put it in GPS. And back to MOD. No. We don't have it. We only have time lapse and lock assist. Not sure, guys. Really not sure how you get this drone in to follow me. Let's exit that. Not sure at all. I have no idea. Something I'm going to have to look up or contact Wakira. Well, let's get this drone up and uh, get a little view around. Show you guys what the camera is looking like here. Because it is a uh, sunny, sunny day with clouds. Let's get away from there. There's kids over on those swings now. There's the view. I've only got that in GPS mode and it's still fighting that wind. I have the speed setting turned all the way up to 20, 20 meters per second. Let's do a little kind of a circle me here. Now the camera does look good guys. They have fixed that from what I'm seeing on my FPV feed here anyway. And that last video I made, it did look pretty decent. 100% better than, uh, than the flight before. The camera down a little bit. You can see there are children there playing now. That's why I wanted to get out of that area. Let's go back to, back towards me. So I guess we'll end this. We've been filming for 13 minutes. You guys now see what the drone is like. It is worth purchasing now. Uh, I just got to figure out how to get the follow me working in it. So let's return to home. Return to launch flight mode. And it's coming back. And it usually hits that pad or right on the edge of it anyway. So it's right above me now and it's coming down guys Put the camera down it's still pretty cold out here considering it's almost the end of May and there you have it actually it's a bit away this time we'll bring it in ourselves So yeah, it was a couple of feet off there, but it is pretty windy today, so chalk it up to that because it usually hits that pad. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little flight. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing, leave a like and a comment, all that good stuff, guys. Make sure those notifications are on, and peace out. Catch you in the next one.